Well, welcome back to the shop. For today's project, we just did some uh, spray painting and cleaning up the final bit of the seat weld. We've got some door rubber coming, and this is completely rusty. The channel, it should be painted and adapted. Going to have to loosen off this uh, latch mechanism, loosen off these two bolts here, and <clears throat> take this off if I want to clean it up and put it on properly. Um, I guess the object of the exercise with this Jeep is to um, keep it the way it is as best we can. Over here on the floor is the next major repair. <clears throat> Today I think I'm going to grind that out and identify exactly where it is. Now if I can remember what Fritzy says, he says don't cut everything out. Make the patch piece and then cut it out as best you can and I'm going to try and follow his advice on that. Anyway, more coming up later. Thanks for coming to the shop. Well, after a first initial inspection and grinding off of this hole, it's uh, actually fairly solid. Right there, and right there, obviously not here. Seems like it's pretty good to there. When you go underneath, <coughs> You can see maybe I don't know if you can see it or not but there's nothing too much in the way there's no doubling up of that panel I guess this is a seam uh, so you can't see anything so I won't seam up there of some form or other and I think I can cut this out that's the gas line so probably have to be really pretty careful about cutting that and uh, using the <coughs> lightning scissors as Derek from Vice Grip Garage calls them so, I'm not sure what to do with that. Is that the fuel one? It is the fuel one. Okay, well, a little more exploration has to be done under here before I start doing any cutting. Well, my block for raising the height of this small jack survived exactly two lifts. So it's time for me to rebuild this. 